It's over one month after the iPhone 13 lineup launching. There were some parts compatibility tests between same iPhone 13 model, and it's very helpful for repair community. But how about the parts compatibility across iPhone 13 lineup, and what parts are compatible? Let's make the swap test now. We found the display chip appearance of iPhone 13 and the 13 mini are very similar. Meanwhile, 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max are very similar. We've made iPhone 13 Face ID chip swipe test before, so today we are going to be more crazy. Try to swipe display IC across different models. We start from iPhone 13 and 13 mini. Insert a metal sheet under iPhone 13 screen flex. Apply high temperature proof sticker to protect the screen from heat damage. Adjust the vertical hot air gain to 260 Celsius degree. Air flow 30 to remove display chip. And repeat the same procedure to remove iPhone 13 mini display chip. Apply solder flux for easier desoldering. Clean display chip with PCB cleaner. Insert a metal sheet under iPhone 13 screen flex. Adjust the vertical hot air gain to 300 Celsius degree airflow 30. Apply solder flux and install iPhone 13 mini display chip on it. We found the display was damaged by heat even with protection of metal sheet and high temperature proof sticker. We suppose it's because display chip is too close with the frame, and the heat went into the gap between frame and glass. Install screen and turn on the phone. Screen light up, but we can't see any image as normal, so the iPhone 13 mini display chip can't be used on iPhone 13. Let's do this again to install iPhone 13 display chip on 13 mini. The display was heat damage at the same position. Connect the screen with the board and power on. It even doesn't show anything at all. Now we try to install display chip back to iPhone 13. The phone power on successfully. The Face ID warning message is because we didn't install Face ID module. Heat damage the display area is very obvious to see but it won't affect the touch function after testing. In one word, even though the display chip are very similar, the chip of iPhone 13 and 13 mini are not interchangeable, and we suppose this also not work between 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. Even the display sizes are totally different. We found the iPhone 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max has the same connectors, so we decided to make the swap test on them. Very surprisingly, the phone power on and the image appear. Also, the Face ID and the display warning message pop out. However, because of different size, there are some mismatch on image display. Touch function also works but work not well because of digitizer mismatch. Now let's swap 13 Pro Max screen on 13 Pro. Face ID and the display warning message pop out again. Meanwhile, strap will appear on right side of screen and the image missing in the bottom. Same as the above swap, touch function mismatched again. After swap test, we know the display chip are not interchangeable, but the screen swap test indicates some display data are compatible. Just because different display size and resolution, image and touch are both mismatched. Compare four rear cameras, it's easy to make a decision how to do the swap test. Take out the rear camera from iPhone 13 Pro Max. And install 13 Pro rear camera on it. Turn on the phone. 
non-genuine camera warning message pop out. In the setting page, we found the same message here. Enter camera directly and test it. After rounds of tests, we found that all functions work well. Then we install iPhone 13 Pro Max rear camera on 13 Pro. Same as the above test, warning message pop out. But the camera functions still work perfectly. Take out the iPhone 13 rear cameras and install 13 mini rear cameras on it. Camera warning message pop out. Also, it's available on setting page. Test all the functions of rear camera. We found the swipe won't affect camera functions. Same as above test, iPhone 13 camera will have a warning message on 13 mini, but the camera function work perfect. After swipe test, all rear camera modules will have a warning message, but all camera functions still work well. Comparing forefront camera carefully, and let's make the following test. Take out from the camera from iPhone 13 Pro Max and install 13 Pro from the camera on it. Face ID not work message pop out after power on. Try to enroll face ID but we failed again. As the all front cameras functions, we found they work well as normal. Install 13 Pro Max camera on iPhone 13 Pro. There is a bracket on iPhone 13 Pro Max, so it can't fit perfectly. Face ID warning message pop out and can't enroll face ID. Front camera function work well too. Take out the iPhone 13 front camera. Install 13 mini front camera on it. Because different size, it can't fit well. Warning message pop out. Face ID and row failure, but the all front camera functions still work. After test, we got the same results when you install iPhone 13 front camera on 13 mini. After rounds of swipe testing, we found the front camera functions work normally except the face ID, but because of different structure and size, all front cameras are not interchangeable. Because iPhone 13 mini SIM tray is thicker and with a single SIM design, we will swipe all iPhone 13, 13 Pro and Pro Max SIM trays. Install iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max SIM tray on iPhone 13. We found that both cellular signal and cellular data work well. However, because SIM trays are with different material and color, 
They are not interchangeable even function works. Here is a complete testing report of all swap tests. As for other parts, because the different shape and size, it's unnecessary to arrange more tests. If you find more compatible parts, feel free to share with us with comment. Generally speaking, there are few parts could be interchangeable in iPhone 13 lineup. This means the repair shop must stock more parts to fulfill daily repair. Even Face ID was embedded into screen chip, but if Apple charge Face ID repair with too expensive price, users still probably choose third-party repair even if it will lose Face ID, just like Touch ID repair from iPhone 6s. Anyway, Face ID can be replaced by password as an alternative, but you can't use an iPhone without a screen. Therefore, we are still very confident for the future of repair business. What's your opinion on this point? Please leave a comment and share with more people.